Okay, well, today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to solve a, the, to prove the theorem, a parallelogram uh, has congruent uh, diagonals, then it is a rectangle. And we know that a rectangle's got to have a 90 degree angle in it. And so that's what we're going to end up using as the proof. First thing, of course, I put down here is number one is my given. So I'm going to go draw a little picture right here of a parallelogram A, B, C, D. And we know that AC is congruent to, or equal to, equal to BD. So therefore, I know that this leg is equal to that leg. Likewise, I know that AB is equal to C or DC because the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. So that's number one, I'm gonna put down my given. And two, I do, we're going to establish right here that AB is going to be congruent to uh, CD, oh, DC, DC because uh, two opposite sides, opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent. All right, number two, number three. I know that AD is equal to AD, so that's by reflective property. AD congruent to AD, 3, R-E-F-L-E-X-I-V-E. -E. Therefore, I know that this triangle here, we'll call this uh, ABD, triangle ABD, is going to be congruent to angle, uh, excuse me, triangle CDA, congruent to triangle CDA. And this is done by side, side, side. We've got three sides there, or three sides. So that's side, side, side. So that's step number four. Therefore, angle A and angle D are congruent. Angle A and angle uh, are congruent D because they are uh, five. That's C, P, C, T, C. Congruent par the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now, we know because A plus D is, because this right here is a parallelogram, they would have to be equal to 180 degrees because we know the, the uh, consecutive angles of a parallelogram are, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the yeah, consecutive angles right here are gonna be equal to 180 degrees, so, so six. So we know that angle A plus angle D equals 180 degrees. And six, we know that consecutive, uh, consecutive angles of uh, parallelogram are supplementary, all right? Which means that they're equal to 100, T-A-R-Y, okay? Are, okay, now, if I substitute up here that, uh, I substitute in here a D for an A, so I end up with uh, seven, so I got angle A plus angle a equals 180 degrees, and that's seven by substitution. Substitution, and then six, uh, seven, or eight, let's make that eight. If I divide both sides by two, um, of course, if we combine that, that would end up with angle A is equal to 90 degrees, and we'll just call this right here uh, eight uh, division. So we have proven now that a parallelogram if it has congruent diagonals, then it is a rectangle. Click, click.